In order to get started with business process management, we first have to learn the basics about processes. So what is a process? A process is a set or a series of activities that transforms input into output. In this example right here, we have some generic activities symbolized by tooth gears. As soon as the input is provided, they are executed. Upon completion, the output is generated and the process is completed. In order for a process to generate output, we always need some sort of input. Input can be information like requirements, goals, plans, or any other immaterial goods. Another example for inputs are all the resources needed for the process to be executed. This includes labor, money, energy, and the raw materials and tools needed to produce physical goods. Every process needs input. As we have seen before, this input is then processed by a set or a series of activities. With activities, we mean all the actions necessary to transform the input into output. An activity is a step within a process that is either executed by a human or a machine. Just think of it as something that needs to be done. In this example, the activities are symbolized by a pickaxe, a thinking person and a tooth gear. When all the activities are executed and finished successfully, our input has been transformed into output. There are three basic categories of outputs that are applicable to most processes. Products, services and information. Any physical good that you can buy in a store must have completed some sort of process to be available on the shelf. A car, for example, needs to be built and assembled before it can be sold to a customer. The provisioning of services always follows a process, so a customer can expect the same result every time. In today's data-driven world, many processes simply provide information. Think about a basic Google search. Based on your search, the engine provides you with a list of results. That is information. Let's have a look at some examples. In order to cook dinner, you need the right ingredients and the necessary appliances in your kitchen. From a process perspective, we consider them as inputs. Cutting, cooking, frying and so on are the activities within that process. The finished and hopefully very tasty meal is the output. Same applies to the other examples in this slide. All of them require an input and in return they will provide a certain output. Now let's have a look at the key learnings from this lecture. Congratulations! We just finished the first lecture of this course. Let's have a look at the key learnings and repeat what we just learned. Inputs are the resources invested in accomplishing a task and typically include time, money and effort. Output is a quantity of goods or services produced in a specific time period. A process, and this is the key learning of this lecture, is a set or a series of activities that transform input into output. Last but not least, processes are supposed to deliver the same result given the same input.